is so helpless. Can you believe it? Can that my beautiful wife? What? Where are we? We are in the basement of Dominic's building. You came to find me, and you got trapped. Yeah, we wouldn't be married if I hadn't. Are we really married? Yeah, got the ring to prove it. You can't back out now. Oh, I don't want to back out. It's a good thing, because you stuck with me for life, my beautiful bride. Joe, we better be careful. Make sure nobody finds us. I don't know why Channing's so against us. Oh, Kelly, that was a long time ago, honey. That was six years ago. That's all over now. Oh, yeah. Six long years. Joe, I'm so afraid. I never want to lose you again. You won't. I will never, ever let go of you again. We finally eloped. Yeah, yeah. We're going to have one fantastic honeymoon. We'll have our own family. Joe, I want to have your babies. Our babies. Well, I love you so much, Kelly. because of the earthquake. I forgot. Let's see if there's anything else. Um, how about some warm orange juice? Okay. Okay. <clears throat> Let me see. I hope we can find a glass that's in one piece. Did you know that orange juice has vitamin C in it? And it's the best thing you can do for a cold? I don't have a cold. No, that's true. It's good for you anyway. Drink it. Thank you. What's your name? I'm Mason, don't you remember? Thank you for saving my life. Santana told me. <laughs> well, you're very welcome. I'm glad I was there. Who's Channing? Um, w why do you want to know about him? Santana and Uncle Cece were talking about him. Oh. Well, um, Channing was my brother, your Uncle Cece's son. But he died about six years ago. Oh. I, uh, think we better get you back to bed. You had enough? Yes. Let's go. It'll <clears throat> be very quiet.
head in this way. Not alone. Not buried like this. With my little girl. My child so close. And I can't help her. Oh, oh please. City health officials advise that you continue to check for gas leaks and stay out of damaged buildings. Uncontaminated water will be made available at Red Cross centers throughout the city. Additional medical supplies are being... Mason, Santana and Brandon all right? I heard, I heard what happened. Yeah, yeah, they're fine. They're just exhausted. I stayed in case they needed anything. You got them out of the Andrade house just in time. Thank you, Mason. Yeah, we were lucky. The place could have exploded. It did. What? I sent somebody back there to turn off I'm the gas. I'm afraid they didn't get there in time. And unfortunately, Ruben and Rosa had returned. Oh, my God. Were they hurt? Rosa wasn't, but Ruben was hurt. Well, is he going to be all right? Well, the doctor says he's going to be all right, yes. But I thought Santana should know. Well, yeah, sure. I'll wake her up. Santana. Santana. It's early. Uh, my father's here. He needs to tell you something. Is he here to pick up Brandon? No, no, it's, it's nothing like that. Uh, you better talk to him. All right. Hello, Cece. Santana. Uh, Brandon is okay. Have you heard from Gina yet? Yes, she's on her way back. But that's not why I'm here. Santana, your father's been hurt in a gas explosion at his home. My God, where is he? He's at the hospital. I'll take you there. Well, is he all right? He was in severe shock for a while, but the doctor tells me he's going to be fine. Well, uh, is my mother with him? Yes, yes. I hate to wake Brandon. I'll stay with him. Thanks, Mason. I, that'll be a big help. Okay, I'm going to Oh, I'm ready. Let's go. Oh, Mason, he'll be waking up soon, and uh, he'll be hungry, so there's some bread and some peanut butter. Santana, and... I'll take care of him. Don't worry about a thing. Okay. Thanks. I don't know what I'd do without you, Mason. Well, don't try. Good luck. Okay, I'll, I'll be back as soon as I can. Oh. Well, your blood pressure's up. You know, you're doing really well, Mr. Anthony. How are you feeling? Uh, glad to be alive, Doctor. <laughs> My dad never complains. Hey, I wish I had more patients like that. I'll be back shortly. I'll check on him a little later. Want some water? Yes. Are you sure my husband's going to be all right? Well, he's had some, um, some uh, inhalation injuries, as you know, Ms. Andrade, as I told you. Uh, but he's on intensive uh, respiration therapy now. You mentioned shock. Well, he's got plenty of fluids. Now, he's doing really well. I'm giving it to you straight, I promise. Thank you, Doctor. Rosa. I'm here, querida. Come closer. I love touching you. So do I. 
But every now and then I'm going to have to let you go so that you can eat and sleep. No, you don't. <laughs> Being with you now is all I care about. Your mother's some woman, aren't they? She sure is. <laughs> the only thing that makes me strong is my family. You're what I live for. Without each one of you safe and well, I couldn't go on. I wouldn't have the strength. Michael, what are you doing? I'm carving our initials in this rock. Oh. Hey, listen. I wish the devil it was marble and I could do it with a jackhammer. Yeah, I remember you did that once before, a long time ago. Yeah, you remember that? The Olympic Peninsula? Mm. Mm. We stopped to, as you said, pollinate the North Woods. Oh, oh, oh. I oh, couldn't oh, have said oh. a thing like Oh, that. yes, you did. Uh, then you said you wanted to commemorate an exquisite occasion. Uh, maybe that's what we're doing now. We haven't done anything. Haven't we? Cold. Huh. Let me light this fire again. Thanks. What are you thinking? I was thinking about our circle of truth. Yeah, what about it? I think there's been more truth spoken on this ledge in the last couple of hours than we ever spoke in that circle. I think you're right. Did you ever carve Sophia's initials in the rock? No. Good. Is she in love with you? No, I don't want to know. Never mind. Hey, why don't we concentrate on now and forget about the things? No. Wonderful idea. She was a terrible actress. <laughs> Sophia? Why should I thought she had a nice and a natural quality? Natural? Sure. She was positively stilted. Did you ever see that romantic comedy she did with What's-His-Name when she had, what did she have, four lines? Well, I saw all her movies. It's very sweet, Lionel. She was dreadful in that. Don't. Don't what? <sighs> Stoop to that level. Look who's talking about stooping. Carolyn was some cheap Hollywood little starlet having an affair with her. Don't no, cuss If there was one thing she was not, it was cheap. Oh, really? So now you're going to hold her up to me as some paragon of virtue. Not holding her up to you, you asked about her. How dare you carry on with her when you were barely even married to me. Boy, what a convenient memory you have. You have forgotten that summer when you went to Europe with your mother and you left your new husband... Alone in the home all summer. Ah, uh -huh, ha, ha. Alone for about two minutes. Oh, oh, really? Well, you decided to stay the whole month extra with your mother, and I was writing you every day begging you to come home. Writing and begging you, please? Well, yeah, practically every day. Told you how much I missed you, but you stayed away, and that's... Well, that's what I meant, Sophia. Uh, you were just looking for an opportunity, Lionel. No, that's untrue. Didn't it ever occur to you that I would be hurt that you chose your mother over me? That's not why I stayed. It wasn't my mother. Really? What was it then? Was it the, uh, the beauty of Europe, the gaming tables of Monte Carlo? Pray tell. Oh, you're getting closer. What? It was actually the thrill of the man that I met while I was at the gaming tables of Monte Carlo. Man? What man? Oh, a tall, mysterious stranger very much like Rosano Brazzi. Oh, he sat down next to me one night and told me how to play the cards. Yeah? I won every hand. Well, who is he? What's his name? Where does he live? He lives in Rome and his name is Giancarlo. What are you going to do? Go track him down, Lionel? Yeah, I would. Oh. I would. If he were on this cliff, he'd be whoop, over. That's <laughs> good. Gone. Are you crazy? That yeah. was 23 years ago. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's funny, huh? Yes. Am I forgiven? Well, I don't know. I'll have something to hold on you the next time we have a fight. I love you, Lionel. I love you. You know what? What? I think we should come back here every year to celebrate this special occasion. We may be here next year. <laughs> <laughs> we might even be here 20 oh, years from now, 12 skeletons. <laughs> All Tied up with each other's arms. Mm, not a bad idea. Mm. How are you feeling? Your bruises any better? Only when I laugh. <laughs> <laughs>
Do they hurt you? Oh, boy, I'll make sure I don't say nothing funny. About you? I'm fine, my head. I don't know. You don't seem to feel it anymore. <laughs> Yo! Oh, oh, get in there! Whoa! whoa. <laughs> uh, yeah! Yeah, yeah, we're here. Hello? 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 My wife and I are stuck down here. Uh, Mr. and Mrs. Lionel Lockridge. And Dr. Livingston, I presume? Could okay. you please find out if our children are all right? Yeah. Okay, I'll go get help right away. Thank you. I'm sure the kids are fine. Hope so. You know what? Mm. I'm going to miss being alone with you. I think we'll have to find some time to do this more often. Yes, but we'll never be this totally, completely, and absolutely alone! <laughs> I don't know, you know? It'll be quite a while before that fella comes back. Mm -hmm. Big sister's here to take care of you. Like when we were little, right? Yeah, here. better than that, I hope. Oof, I was pretty mean to you when we were kids. Sometimes. Sometimes <laughs> you were the greatest. <laughs> oh. So, so many memories in this house. We're lucky this house wasn't demolished in the earthquake. Yeah. I just hope Dad's okay and Mom and Joe. Okay. Why don't we turn on the news? See okay. what's happening? Yeah. Fire raging out of control in the Hot Springs Canyon section of the mountains above Santa Barbara. Several homes in nearby Montecito are being threatened by the fire. Montecito. And may be forced That's to evacuate me. the area. There's still no electricity or water for most of the city. The Red Cross has, however, set up a 24-hour emergency center. Mom. Where supplies are being flown in from Los Angeles. Food, medicine, and medical attention. Mom, what happened? Where have you been? Something's happened. Is it Joe or, or Daddy? It's John. No, he's not. He's not dead, is he? Oh my God. No, Mom. Daddy's not dead. Mom, he can't be. It can't be true. Baby. <laughs> what did it happen? He was helping some people who were trapped in the store. And there was an afterquake, and a beam hit him, and there was nothing they could do. He, uh, he died a few hours ago. He's holding my hand. Honey! <laughs> Please stay close. Stay very close. I need you. Oh, we need each other. Kelly? Here. Joe? Yeah, yeah, we're down here. Cruise man, is that you? Yeah, man. Are you okay? Yeah, I am. But is Kelly with you? Yeah, Kelly's here, but she's hurt, man. She's hurt real bad. Okay, well, just uh, hold on a second now, man. I'll, I'll call for some help real get... fast. Kelly, did you hear that? They found us. It was Cruz. He's going to get bring some help, and then they were, we're going to take you to the hospital. Make sure you're all right, okay, honey? Dominic, did you hear? They found us. They're coming to get us. I hear you, Joe. That's wonderful. Now, how's Kelly? You better pray for it, Dominic. Pray that they get here fast enough. Gary? Yeah, Cruz? I found Joe and Kelly. Where are you, Cruz? Uh, on the street where Kelly's car was parked. They're trapped in the basement of some apartment building. I need some help digging them out. I'll send people over right away. What's the address? <sighs> it's uh, Yananelli Street. I think it's 416. You better get a hold of CC Capwell, too. Tell him his daughter's been found. I think he better get over here. I need some muscle, too. There's a stairway down in front of the door. Uh, I don't know what I can come up with this fast, Cruz. Just get it done, man, and send some paramedics. Kelly's in trouble. Yeah. 
Thank you. Huh? Have a word? Sure, what? I want to tell you how wonderful you are. What? For you are, the way you've been sticking this whole thing out, staying up all night. Oh. Hey, I can tell. Yeah, I really can tell how, how worried about you are about your parents. Oh, you're in the same boat. Oh, wait, boat. just let me finish this here. Every time I feel like caving in, I take a look at you and I helping these people out. I'm so happy I am a friend of yours and that you share a part of your life. Yeah, yeah. I mean, that's the best part. <laughs> Ted. Dad, any news? I found Kelly. She's alive. Oh, she's oh, alive. <laughs> Where's Eden? Over there. Eden? Kelly's been found. She's alive. She is? Is she okay? What happened? Is she okay? She's in the basement of a building that collapsed over on the other side of town. Mm -hmm. She's been hurt. We don't know how badly. I'm on my way there to help dig her out. Okay, I'll come with you. No, no. I don't know what the scene is going to be like there. I want you two to go to the hospital and wait for us there. Will you tell her that we love her? Sure. <laughs> Good things are starting to happen. It's your turn next. No, I hope so. Ted, I'm so happy for you about Kelly. <laughs> Lakin, we've just had some word about your parents. What about them? They're okay. They've been stranded on the ledge of a cliff, but someone has found them and has gone for help. Oh, thank God. Well, where are they? It's out by the cemetery. Oh, Jane, thank you. Thanks. Huh? Huh? Oh, go ahead. Say that you told me so. I told you so. <laughs> you did. You said they were going to be okay, and they are. Oh, well, where's Warren? I'm gonna go tell him. Oh, oh Ted, I'm so happy. John's love was a, was a constant for me. Do you know? I mean, even when I, I made him leave because of Joey, I knew. I, I knew he still loved me. I knew he always would. I'm so lucky to have that. To have him. Joe Perkins' mother. Has something happened to Joe? Yes, ma'am. He's, he's stuck in a building that's collapsed. Oh, God! No, but he's all right. They're working right now to get him out, and, uh, well, he's going to be all right, and oh. he'll meet you at the hospital. He's safe. Thank God. Josie. Thank you. Oh, thank you for coming to tell us. Very good. <laughs> well, I'm... I have to bring somebody some good news. Thank you. I have to be going. Yes. Yes, of course. Bye. Hold on, baby. I'm not going to make it. Yes, you are. Come on, just hug that rope. Hug it like it was me. The rope's going to break, Lionel. No, it isn't. You're doing beautifully. Next year, Mount Everest. Attica. Attica. Here we go. Ups a days. Oh, nice thank going. You. Thank you. My husband. Get my husband. We'll get him. Oh, thank God. I was terrified. My children, are they all right? Safe, both. Oh, thank you. Lionel, the children are safe. Be careful. I love you. Darling. Fantana. Oh, Papa, I just found out. Cece just told me that you I'm were here. I'm getting good care. It's... I'll be fine. I know you will be. Why did you go back to the house? To see you, darling. We thought you were still there. We wanted to talk to you about the little boy, Brandon, our grandson. Oh, Papa. If I hadn't said anything about Brandon, then no, this would no. never have happened. No, I'm glad you told me at last. You could have been killed. No. All of this has forced me to rethink many things. Are you angry with me? No, darling, it's not that at all. 
You suffer great loss and shame all alone. And you were very brave. You stood up to CC and you fought to find your son. I'm very proud of you, my daughter. And I love you very much. I would love to tell the world of my wonderful grandson. But I know we can't do that now. But we will always love him anyway. I don't know why I ever doubted you. It wasn't you. It was me. I became rigid with the years. When life, when life tells you that you must bend with the wind. Papa, no, it was me. I was too young and afraid and stupid. It was I who should have known better. It was wrong of me not to tell your father. I made you promise to keep a secret. Santana, have you made any decisions about your son? About what you're going to do? No. I just want my boy to be happy. That's all. He's strong. Of course he's strong. Lionel, be careful. I think I can. I think... I love you. There you go. Okay. Yeah, yeah, fine. Hi, babe. Next time we want entertainment like that, we ought to go skydiving without parachutes, huh? <laughs> Good idea. You've always given me more entertainment than anyone else. Oh, really? Oh, I love uh, you, I love you, I love you. Uh. Kelly! Can you hear me? Kelly, we're getting through to you. I can see Mr. Capwell. All right, hang on. Maybe we'll get you out soon. Get your dad's door so he's coming to dig you out, and then we'll you're all right, but take you to the hospital. Be strong, baby. Gotta keep fighting. Gotta fight for everything. Kelly? Joe? What's going on? Why don't you answer me? Oh, Kelly, I love you. I've always loved you, even though I wasn't with you. I love all my children. They're the only reason I have to live. They've got to save her. They've just got to save her. Kelly, Kelly, it's me. I'm here, sweetheart. Everything's gonna be all right. We're gonna get you help now. Everything's gonna be all right. Atta, baby, you're all right. Everything's okay. It's okay. Well, hello there. How are you feeling? Fine. Can you read me something? Well, sure. I think you'll find this very interesting. The Dow Jones average reacted to the recent confusion in the OPEC ranks with a slight gain later in the afternoon in yesterday's trading. Pretty good stuff, huh? Yes. Brandon... You told me earlier that you had heard Santana and uh, Uncle Cece talking about Channing. Do you remember what they said? Uncle Cece said something about Channing making a bad mistake. Really? Um, Brandon, wait. I can get it. <clears throat> Mommy! Mommy! We are all big. <laughs> oh, let me look at you. Let me look at you. You look wonderful, and I, I thought you went through such terrible things. I don't care, look at me! I can't take my eyes off you, you're beautiful. Wait a minute, let me hold you. Oh, oh, sweetheart. Oh. Mason saved my life. Yes, I know. I'll never be able to thank you. You don't have to. Actually, we've become pretty good friends. I had the worst night of my life, I'll tell you that. I kept hearing reports about the quake. I, I couldn't get through to anybody here. I didn't know where Brandon was, if he was safe. I, I was terrified. Ben, had you flown in in the helicopter? Yes, he did. Or else I would still be down there. 
worrying myself silly over him. Darling, we better get going. Why don't you put on your shoes, all right? Okay. Okay. He looks good, doesn't he? Is it true he almost died last night? Um, yeah, well, we had some pretty bad moments. God, I was so far away. If anything happened to him, I would... Mason, I'm very grateful to you. And Santana. Good, are we ready? Yes. All right. Well, we will be staying with Uncle Cece for a while. I like it there, because it has a fountain that goes all the time. <laughs> well, I don't know if that fountain will be going for a while yet. The earthquake did... Uh... Quite a bit of damage. Can we help fix it? Well, maybe, but there are going to be a lot of people that need help out there, and we're going to pitch in and do whatever we can. Okay. Why don't you um, say goodbye to Mason and thank him for everything? Goodbye, Mason. Thank you. <laughs> well, you're uh, you're welcome, Brandon. I uh, guess I'll see you later. Over the house. Mason, uh. I'll never forget what you did for my son. Yes, I'll see you. You must be fine. Okay. They found Kelly Mason. They're bringing her to the hospital right now. How is she? Nobody knows yet. Well, at least she's alive and she's safe. I'd better get over there. Okay, thanks for babysitting. Sure. Brandon? Uh, he's not here, Santana. He's not? Well, where is he? Well, Gina came by a little while ago, took him home. Uh, they're staying in our place. I didn't even get a chance to say goodbye to him. Are you all right? Yes. I, there were just some things I wanted to say to him before he left. Well, you can come over any time and see him. Yes. Santana, why were you and my father fighting over Brandon yesterday? Look, Cece and I have been fighting over everything lately. <laughs> he said he uh, didn't want you taking care of him. Why is that? Look, you know, it's just a personal disagreement. I really don't want to talk about it, all right? Sorry. Didn't mean to pry. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to jump down your throat that way, Mason. You've been too good to me. It's just that your father and I don't get along at all anymore. No, I'm not surprised. Nobody that stands up to him stays in his good graces for very long. Yeah, well, C.C. Capwell is not going to run my life. No, I won't let him. I can handle it, Mason. I know you can. You're quite a lady. I don't know about that. Look, I don't want to keep you from going to the hospital, okay? No, I'm on my way.
Make a good pair, Santana. We belong together. Marry me. Yeah, I'm sorry you had to worry about me. How's Kelly? I, I wish I knew they're going to do some checks. They're going to run some tests. Where's Dad? Joe. What? Oh. Oh. Mason. What has come over you? I, I don't know what to say. I, I really can't think right now. Well, I'm surprised you're surprised. I thought I'd made my feelings pretty clear. Well, I, I, I'm, I'm very flattered, Mason. Uh-huh. Now, don't tell me flattery will get me nowhere. Mason. Uh, such a dear. Um, exciting, perhaps. Intelligent. Witty, even charming, but dear. I didn't mean it as an insult. I really do like you very, very much. Last night you said you loved me. Well, uh, there are a lot of things that have happened so suddenly, Mason. Don't remember? Yes, of course I do. I do love you in many ways. Hmm. But are they the right ways? Mason, look, I'm, I'm very confused right now. I, I, uh... That's okay. You take your time. I don't need an answer right away. You're worth waiting for. Try to leave the ladder as long as we can. Let's just get this little stuff out of the way. Dominic, we're going to be in a suit in just a couple of minutes. Dominic, this is Cruz. Can you hear me? Oh, let's hurry it up. We're losing him. What are they going to operate on me, Daddy? Don't worry, sweetheart. We've got the best surgeon in the country. Right. Soon. Right here, Kelly. Daddy. What is it, baby? Will you please tell Mason to have the drug charges against George Ford? Don't worry about me now, please, Kelly. Promise me, Mason. It's not really in my control anymore, yes, Kelly. it is. You can do it. Kelly, you'll have plenty of time to talk about this after you get well. No. Right now, you know Joe didn't do it. Okay, Kelly, we're going to take you down to OR now. I'm not going. What's going on? Mason. Kelly, the most important thing right now is for you to get well. I have to know, Joe. You'll be okay. If I don't make it. Let's go. I think I can get through here now. Of blood. And I know there's a piece of cloth. It looks like nylon. Probably from his jacket. But how'd he get out of here? Through here, I imagine. I must have taken every bit of strength you could muster.
Okay, okay, okay. Come on, Kelly. Every minute counts now. Daddy, Mason. Well, Ollie, Kelly, I told you I'd do everything I could. It's not good enough, Mason. I need everyone. Look, excuse me. I don't know what this is about. Whatever it is, settle it now. Mason, we have no choice. All right, Kelly. I swear I'll have the charges against Joe dropped. Joe. It is, honey. I love you. Oh, baby, I love you so much. Forever. No matter what happens. You're going to be all right, baby. Dr. Jack Melville. Doctor. Doctor. What are her chances? We'll do everything we possibly can. I, right now, I can't even guarantee that she's going to make it through surgery. So.